Welcome to Wallatopia. Please remember to go to wallatopia.info, register to receive video notifications, discounts, and other things we do. Uh, we always send you emails on what goes on, so it's always good to just go there and register. Now today, we are going to do a comparison between the Bellroy Slim Sleeves. There are more than one. There is the regular Slim Sleeve that we have here and the Designer Edition here. And there are some differences between them, even though they have the same name. So let's get into this. The Slim Sleeve Bifolds have the same name and roughly the same design, but they are a little different in the layout on the interior here. Uh, the, they try to be as slim as possible, but there's differences in material. And so let's take a quick look on the inside of what the difference is. So if we look at the regular Bellroy Slim Sleeve, uh, we'll see that they still function where we have a card slot on both sides, as well as a, a cash slot or card on the interior, as well as the right, and a pull tab here, a pull strap for additional cards. The difference here with the with the uh, designer edition, however, is that we do still have the card strap or the card slots on both sides, but they're laid out a little different. Whereas this has a drop down here, which I think is convenient to get cards in and out. This is just a single slide, slot that goes across. Uh, the other difference is that uh, we'll see in the construction is if we flip it over, the anchoring of the pull strap on the regular slim sleeve is seen here in the sewing. You can see here on the exterior. And that's okay. It's great that it's that it's actually uh, secured down to leather, but on the designer edition, we don't have that. And the reason why is it's because it's secured to the interior leather piece here, which gives it a cleaner look because we don't see that on the exterior. Now, despite the small change in the layout design, they hold the same number of cards. Company says they can hold between four to 12 cards plus cash each. Now we've put six in, uh, really six is about the perfect number for both of these before you start stretching out the leather. Three slips of cash is great and you can fold that over once for US, Canadian, Australian currency. But once you get into foreign currencies like yen and euro, you really have to fold it twice because it begins to interfere with the spine here when you're trying to close it. Now for trivia's sake, the name Bellroy came from marrying the names Bell's Beach and Fitzroy in Australia where the company has offices. Now I've been through Fitzroy because it's just outside of Melbourne and it's got a great feel to it and anything with beach in it, I'm in. So that's good for me. Now, oh, what am I hearing? Of course, that's the Australian cricket, uh, that's a national Australian cricket team saw. And of course it does have the beach in the right point. Yeah, there you go. All right. So <clears throat> anyway, let's get down to the material differences between these products. Now material wise, they both have top grain uh, leather. They're both veg tan. The designer edition in this particular case is Nubbuck, which is kind of a suede, but it's still a top grain leather. Uh, both very soft to the touch. It's, they're both veg tan and very nice. And what the designer has is imprinted embossing on it, uh, which is a particular note and really interesting visually. One significant difference between these two is in the corner treatment. If we look at the regular Bellroy slim sleeve, we notice that the leather is wrapped over and sewn. That provides a leather edge, but of course provides opportunity that if this wears out over time, these two leather pieces will separate and thus it destroys the integrity of the wallet. On the designer edition, however, they don't have leather wrap. They actually have a painted edge here and this painted edge provides greater durability over time, which you would expect from a product of this caliber. And so it's still sewn across, but of course it's sewn on both sides and then it's painted here on the edge, which is a really nice touch. From a pricing perspective, the Slim Sleeve is $79. The Slim Sleeve Designer Edition is $139. And if we look at the size differences between them, they are exactly the same, except the designer has, is 0.4 inches thick. And that's easy to see, you know, really when you put it up close to each other. And the fact that there is higher quality, I don't say higher quality, there's more leather here, which uh, does lend itself to them being thicker. Now both designs are roughly the same. And I've had personal experience in carrying the slim sleeve for a period of time. And I think they're excellent in all aspects with each other, including capacity, size, access from your, uh, from your pocket and the contents within the wallets. And they both sit in your pocket in a very thin, low profile that makes it very nice. Let's review the final ratings of both these wallets from their individual reviews. As you can see, the quality is roughly the same on both of them. The, you know, having carried the regular slim sleeve, I'd, I'd probably rate its quality a little higher if I was to do this again. Price, you would expect that the designer would probably probably be a one, but due to the quality of construction, the materials and so forth, it's very, very close. It, it really could fall into a one if it went any higher than this. 
And of course, from features, usability, per, uh, and perception, uh, they're all about the same. I think the features should match up the same between the two. And I think the new the Bellroy Slim Sleeve Regular would probably be re-rated around a 34. But the Slim Sleeve Designer, of course, is, has a, is, stands as a 36. And there you go. That's a quick comparison of the original Bellroy Slim Sleeve and the new Designer Edition. If you've got the money and you're, you have the inclination, uh, this really is a great wallet. And uh, I'd encourage you to take a look. If you have any questions, Put them down in the comments below, look at the links, and let us know what you think. And we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, bye.